Understanding on the next step, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, on the next step. This phrase is often used in everyday English and understanding its meaning and usage can greatly enhance your language skills. Let's dive in and discover the nuances of this common expression. The phrase, on the next step, generally refers to the subsequent stage or action in a process or sequence of events. It implies that something will happen or be considered after a current step is completed. This phrase is widely used in both formal and informal contexts. Examples in sentences, we will decide on the budget on the next step of our project. Don't worry about the details now, we'll address them on the next step. In project management, planning phases, after finalizing the design, on the next step, we'll move to the development phase. In everyday conversations, making plans, let's choose the destination first, we can think about accommodation on the next step. In academic contexts, research process, once the hypothesis is tested, on the next step, we'll analyze the data. In the next step, this phrase often suggests a more immediate transition to the next stage. For example, in the next step, we will implement the changes. At the next step, this can imply involvement or action at a particular stage. For instance, at the next step, your input is crucial. On the next step, versus, in, at the next step. On the next step is more about what happens during the transition to the next stage. In, at the next step, focuses more on the actions or considerations within that next stage. Context is key. Always consider the sequence of events or steps in your discussion. Pair with future tense, often used with future tense to indicate upcoming actions. E.g., we will discuss this on the next step. Avoid overuse. Use this phrase sparingly and when it clearly adds value to your description of processes or sequences. I hope this video has clarified the phrase, on the next step, for you. Remember, understanding such phrases can greatly enhance your fluency in English. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use this phrase in your conversations and writings. See you in our next video, where we'll explore more interesting aspects of the English language.